the blue of the western sky comes Runway DFW From Dallas Fort Worth International Airport in Texas, this is Runway DFW in color. Now, here is your host, Walt Zwerko. Welcome to Runway DFW for this Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. We're kind of, sort of, I like to think of us as kind of the pregame show for what uh, you're about to see with Kevin and Rudy all day from Los Angeles International Airport. We're here at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport leading up to the big show from Airline Videos Live. So. Hope you'll hang out with us today for the next three hours until about 10 o'clock Central Time. Is that right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10 o'clock Central Time is when uh, Kevin and Rudy fire up. So let us fire up on Runway DFW for this Sunday. Well, I don't know, but sure seems that there's some precipitation in the air this morning as the sun rises. Let us take a look at American Eagle Flight 3456 coming in from MLU. And I, you know, I don't, I haven't memorized that particular airport code. I'm going to have to take a look here. MLU. What would that be? Monroe, Louisiana. So there you go. All right. Well, that mystery has been solved. We are here parked at, uh, probably saw on our Radio. opening shot. We're parked here just in front of the statues that uh, grace uh, DFW Founders Plaza. So we've got a pretty much of a, not quite a 360 degree view, but uh, pretty darn close. What I'm worried about now <laughs> is what we're seeing over in the east, northeast skies here this morning. And I don't know, sure looks like there's some rain going on there. I drove through a few droplets on the way down, because uh, I live north of here, but it didn't look like there was anything much going on. So we'll see what happens. Here comes uh, American Eagle Flight 3885 from Corpus Christi in Texas. There you see on the left of your screen, it's a Sun Country plane going to Cancun, a 737-800. Flight 503. So kind of an interesting morning weather-wise here. We really need rain. 
here in North Texas and probably in a lot of parts of the country and the world. But I think we pretty much had a rain-free August. All right, whiskey kilo plus one eight left ground 85 on four, yeah. So if I have to cover things up for rain, well, so be it. Because we are in need. Well, let's see. We'll, uh, look over at the dawn here. And it's a colorful sky, as you can see, which is about to be bisected by American Flight 2266 from San Antonio, Texas. We have a, a DHL 767 lit up on the radar. Operated by ABX Air. It's the mustard and ketchup livery, which I so love. And we should be seeing that going out in a little while. Before we came on the air, a Korean Air Cargo 747 came in from Atlanta. And we should be seeing that go off before we leave the airways this morning. Other things to look forward to, we'll see uh, Japan Airlines coming in from Narita Airport in Tokyo. We will see Korean Air coming in from Seoul. The uh, Japan Airlines will be a 777. The Korean Air will be a Dreamliner. And the Emirates flight from Dubai is coming in early this morning, uh, a little early. So we should see that in the 9 o'clock hour. It looks, however, like the... Uh, the Qatar Airways daily flight from Doha is running a little late today. I do see, what is that? Is that a 757 Delta? Probably a sports charter, I would imagine. We're seeing some. That aircraft's coming in over on the east side of the airport. I just thought the sky was so beautiful that it was worth a shot over there. So DFW is a vast airport, and uh, that plane, of course, coming in on the east side of the airport. And uh, trying to see what that was. That was American Flight 940. A Dreamliner coming in from Santiago de Chile. American Flight 1913 arriving from Austin on an Airbus A320. This is what we're looking at now. It's a pretty darn beautiful sky this morning, as you could see. Dare I use the word majestic? Let's check in with some of your messages while we're waiting for the next aircraft. Roy J. Orlemans. Good morning, Walton viewers from the Netherlands. Hello to all our Dutch viewers. TriStar Darren, who you see by the ranch, is our newest moderator. He says, good morning, Walt. Hello, everyone, and hello to you, TriStar Darren. Welcome, and thank you for being our newest moderator. Jay Payne Spotter, 
has a $5 super chat. He's up early. Good morning, Walt. I'll be listening while I work. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Jay. And you might be able to see, we now have a sunrise. Hazy though it might be. Different cameras have a slightly different take on the the color of it, but it's nonetheless pretty spectacular. More Odessi says good morning, everybody's. Jack Will says, hi, Walt. Hi, everyone. ERB, stating the obvious, but thank you for that. And Alice Flyer Chris saying that uh, Delta 757, which we looked at a little earlier, and we'll, we'll see it again. Uh, came in la Wednesday night from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Lori M is, I believe, celebrating a milestone there. She's a longtime member of the channel. Waters says, hey, Walt, long time no see. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a bit, Waters, but I'm happy to have you on board with us this morning. New subscriber, Ian Newt, welcome to you. And there's the, the view of things uh, with the uh, penthouse included in the shot. The runway DFW penthouse will be back there at some point. We've got a plane coming in, but it's not going to fly right in front of the sun. It's going to be a little too high for that. Let's see if we can include it in the shot here. Uh, no, it will flew a little higher than I had framed it. Oh, you can kind of barely see it there. Channel member Skittles says, what a great way to wake up. Looks like... It looks uh, 5.07 a.m. on the West Coast, and it's my birthday today. Well, you know, we have something for that, don't we? I believe we do. So to, uh, whose birthday was it? Skittles. To Skittles and to everybody else who has a birthday today or yesterday or this week, happy birthday from Runway DFW. So we're catching a fleeting glance there of the DHL Cargo 767 headed over the bridge to the east side. It's on its way back to Cincinnati in the great state of Ohio. Let's see, can we sneak this in? Not sure we can. Oh, 
well. We're gonna have to. Nineteen eighty three. That is an old plane. That's a forty year old seven six seven two hundred of the DHL variety. You can just barely see the tail there. Maybe we'll see it uh maybe we'll get to see it take off. There's the progress of our our friend the sun. Particularly nice morning. You get the uh, frame by clouds. You get a plane going through there. Very nice. And yonder comes American Flight 2954 from Minneapolis, St. Paul. So there's that Delta plane, which A-list flyer Chris, one of our great moderators, let us know about a little bit earlier. It's parked there at uh, what will be at some point Terminal F. Uh, but right now it's kind of just a glorified parking lot for planes that are waiting for their next assignment. Dave Beeler says, uh, good morning, everyone. Did anyone find out why that Polar DHL 767 made the U-turn back in emergency landing on Friday night? No, I don't have any information regarding that. So if somebody's, somebody can uh, give us the heads up on that, that would be great. We have uh, approaching us now our first 777 of the day, American Flight 115 from Honolulu. We'll see it here shortly. It'll come in after this American Eagle plane. Was arriving from Longview, Texas, a 41 minute journey. So we'll prepare to bring you now. Hey, look at this, triple seven coming in from Honolulu. So camera one pointed towards the northern sky. American 115 heavy, wind check. Here she comes. So aloha to the passengers aboard that flight, which has uh, just arrived after six hours and 52 minutes flying around up there. 
The sun's about to peek behind a cloud bank. Rita Bett says uh, the uh, Delta 757 could be the charter for the Minnesota Twins baseball team. That will bring them to Cleveland after they play the Rangers this afternoon. So that's probably what we were looking at down there. Ms. Wolves 13. One of our great members of the Runway DFW Moderation Federation says uh, is celebrating two months of membership. Love being part of this great family. This is, uh, this is a nice little group we've got here, I would say. Plain Spotting Production says the 757 is going to Minnesota. I just checked, so. Coming in from Brownsville, Texas. American Eagle 3409 and Embraer 175. Here on this Sunday morning edition of Runway DFW. That Delta 757 is kind of hanging out. Jack Will says, next live, can you do JFK airport plane spotting? Please, it's my home airport. Well, <laughs> not that easy for me. I'm kind of based here, but I will be at LAX in Los Angeles starting on Thursday. I'll be there Thursday through Sunday, late Sunday night. And so I hope to bring you at least maybe one live stream. You know, Kevin and Rudy are gonna be busy and we, I hope to be uh, helping them with, you know, okay, if they have any needs. Can, uh, That is American Flight 367. It's going to Phoenix, Arizona. It's an Airbus A321. Here's the flight to Phoenix. I see some uh, ground operations crew there parked on the left. I don't know what that means. I thought I heard I something. Learned, uh, I thought I heard something on the uh, air traffic about 18 left being open, which is what this aircraft is currently taking off on. I don't know if that means it's going to be closed or not. We'll find out.
And for those of you who might be wondering about UPS activity this morning, well, we do have four... Oh, that was my hat. Four UPS cargo planes parked here this morning adjacent to us, including, of course, that uh, MD-11 in the foreground. But according to what I was able to look at uh, on the flight schedule, I don't think any of them are going to be in action this morning, so... At least not while we're on the air. Let's see, is it quiet here for a moment or two? It is. Got a flight from El Paso approaching. See, Gerard has changed his icon again. A list flyer Chris says, Ooh, a rain column. Yes, we'll, we'll just have to. I've got my bag full of uh, shower curtains and things, and so we'll just have to hope that it's. that we can. Stay the course if it does rain here. Drusilla McMillan says, Morning, Walt. It's raining in Colleyville at the moment. My flight back to North Carolina will depart at 1127 this morning. Well, I'll be, I'll be off the air by then. But I wish you a very good flight. Most certainly. There's Spirit Airlines, flight 268, it's going to Las Vegas. I was watching a stream from uh, Jeb Brooks last night, who uh, does travel reviews. He, uh, had, he and his wife took a trip on, consecutive trips on uh, Allegiant, Frontier and Spirit, and according to their analysis, Spirit came out on top. They were all priced fairly similarly. Spirit was the only one in their experience that had any kind of in-flight entertainment. But as you know, with Spirit and Frontier and Allegiant, those are all ultra low-cost carriers. And what that means is that uh, you get a, a very low basic fare if you're just kind of traveling without any baggage whatsoever or any carry-ons. But <laughs> you add anything on like that or you want to board early or you want a, uh, a reserve seat or, you know, anything like that, you're going to pay a little extra. And it adds up. You want to check a bag? Extra. You want to carry on? Extra. So you've got to kind of make those calculations. And of course, they also pointed out that a lot of destinations that these uh, low cost airlines go to, uh, they don't fly there daily or even. You know, they don't fly there multiple times a day or, or even daily in some cases. And that means if you miss your flight or if the flight has some kind of an anomaly, you've got a lot, uh, you, you don't have quite as good of a chance of getting to your destination in, in short order than you would with a legacy carrier that might have more options, might have more planes, might have more, uh, more flight availabilities. So it was an interesting, an interesting piece. I've never been on any of those airlines, so it was all new to me. Desio Luiz says, good morning, DFW Airport. Good morning, USA. Good morning, Brazil. I'm watching in Brazil, so good morning to you there in the Southern Hemisphere. 
Mark Pell says, good morning, gang. It's a frigid 83 degrees in nearby Bedford, hoping for some rain. Well, it's 79 here, so... And let's see, that's... Well, it says 82 on my thermometer uh, right here on my soundboard, but uh, 79 is the official grapevine temperature. Channel member, a few trains at says, in-flight entertainment is your, in Europe is looking out the window. <laughs> well, that's not a bad option, but, you know, if you're in, if you're in the middle seat, good luck with that. Well, looks like we've got a little bit of a lull here. Patrick Lloyd, a channel member, is uh, lauding the sunrise. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really pretty tremendous today. And Drew Kasani is cheering for rain, as I think we all are here in North Texas. Alexander T. checks in from Munich. So, guten tag to you. Ken G. says it's an amazing sky. Channel member Patrick Lloyd says, greetings, everybody. Channel member Rodney says, gorgeous sunset, although technically it's the sunrise, but that's okay. And ERB says, the sunrise at DFW is always amazing. It is a lot of time, not always. You know, if there's no clouds in the sky to break it up, it can be kind of uh, a drag. Because the sun just comes up and starts glaring at you. I'll go in a little closer here. You can see some of the tall buildings of downtown Dallas. Backlit by the rising sun. And again, we're here at uh, DFW Founders Plaza. Right on the curve here. It's kind of a horse horseshoe uh, arrangement. We're kind of on the curved part of it this morning, out on the grass. I think we're in no danger of sprinklers. I'm crossing my fingers about that. We have a plane approaching the starting gate. It's American Flight 1433. It's going to Cancun. It's an Airbus A321. Uh, we are all set, American uh, 1343. Twenty There it is. We still got a ground operations vehicle there and another one in Arnav sight. Lairn. One eight left, clear for takeoff, American thirteen forty three. So hello to you in truck ninety twenty seven.
So now I'm seeing the uh, flashing blue lights of these ground operations vehicles. They may be off on a runway inspection, so we'll see what happens there. Did I just see a lightning bolt? Jordan says, uh, 787-9 from Seoul is the third arrival from the west. Is that right? Seems like it would be early today. Now yeah, we'll find out. Um, what's coming in here? We do have some arrivals on 13 right, which is a runway we do not get to see from this location. But right now it's quiet. Hey, it's a great time to hawk some merchandise. Yes, if you were hankering for a packable jacket or a uh, Runway DFW official t-shirt or a hat in two different styles and many colors or perhaps what floats your boat is a, a hoodie. Well, we've got that for you along with, of course, the Runway DFW mug. So. There's the address on your screen, streamlabs.com slash runwaydfw slash merch. And we will, uh, our, our crack team of, uh, of uh, merch makers will send it off to you. So thanks for taking a look. Mark Pell says, thunder in Bedford at 7.333, and uh, Bedford is behind us. I see Angela Smith over there. She is one of our member channel members and a, a friend here, a fellow photographer. She was the one who alerted us to the um, that emergency landing on Friday night of a 767 DHL plane. Still don't know why that why that happened. Hey, let's fly Chris says you may be able to see sprinkles across the south end of the airfield. And the wind is blowing in that direction from here. So let's see if we can see any. We'll, we'll look uh, over towards the that Delta 757 that's parked down there. And I don't see any evidence of rain. Well, it's a little hard to tell. But certainly the clouds are with us today. And if we take a wide shot looking to the south of us, we'll give you a little better view of what's going on up there in the heavens. Once again, while normally we would uh, we would curse any potential rain, we just gotta say, bring it on because we need it here. It's hard to tell from uh, this shot. Uh, the grass here looks kind of greenish, but it's pretty dry. It really is.
That's American Flight 2625 coming in on the east side of the airport. It's an Airbus A319. And that's all that one we will see. Coming in from Cedar Rapids. A flight of an hour and 33 minutes. Uncle Pat with an L1011 TriStar logo says good morning. Noah Johnson 1200 says good morning from Fort Worth. Good morning to you. Josh Aldrich, channel member, says good morning, Walt. And not to leave anybody out, good morning, everyone. And good morning back to you. Channel member Marie Isbell says good morning, Walt. Well, you're ready for Halloween, aren't you? Good morning, Walt. Mods and everyone from California. Gerard says, uh, please place your runway DFW merchandise order. We also ship across the border. So I'm doing a little tap dancing here. We have a, a dearth of arrivals. And it looks like a Korean Air Flight 31 from Seoul is coming in on the on runway 13 right, which means it's gonna be hard for us to see it. I'm gonna swing the camera around just on the off chance that maybe we can see it. That's me going through the shot there. So it'll be uh, coming in that general direction. We're looking west now. We have a Grackle Convention here. So uh, Flight 31 is a Dreamliner Dash 9 coming in from Seoul. After uh, just, it's, it's, it's bordering on a 12 hour flight currently. We don't normally point our camera in this direction, except sometimes at the sunset, but we'll see if we can catch it on the glide path as it approaches runway 13 right. Run 13 right is a diagonal kind of crosswind runway, which is not used as often as the, the other runways here, but it's, it's there for for uh, planes to arrive, and it's, uh, let's see, it's, Almost, almost to the runway. So let's see what we can see. Whatever we see probably won't be very exciting because it's far away, but. I think there was one time we were watching, I think it was the same flight coming in on that same runway and it, uh, it did a go around. So if you see it, let me know. <laughs> no, it's it's approaching the end of the runway. Oh, I just saw it. There it is. Look at that. Well. Yep, that's about it. So we'll we'll get to see it once it um has to, it has to make its way across. Uh, runways 1, 8, right and left to get to Terminal D.
I can hear its reverse thrusts right now as it lands. We just can't see it. Mike G says, do you ship your merchandise to the UK, Walt? I believe that if you go to that, uh, that link, it will tell you if you can or not. I believe, I, I think we've had some, uh, some people over across the pond get some of our merchandise. So, you know, obviously I'm not licking stamps and putting these things in boxes myself. It's, uh, it's Streamlabs, which has that uh, ability to do that. And they're kind of an international concern, so uh, let me know how that works out if you decide to do that. Well, it's still a quiet morning here at Runway DFW. Wow, I see nothing coming in. You know, last Sunday when we were here, it was it was a lot, it seemed a lot busier. I don't know what accounts for that. Now, this is Labor Day weekend here in the US, uh, but of course, people wouldn't necessarily be traveling on today because this is part of the, the long weekend. The long weekend continues through Monday for Labor Day. So maybe people wouldn't be doing too much traveling today. Channel member Bill called him checking in from Arkansas. Hello, Bill. Good morning, says he. Our new moderator, Tristar Darren, says, All this lovely merch, my Christmas list is so very long. Hint. <laughs> Over on the other side of the airport, we have a United, Air, uh, United Airlines Airbus A320 going to Washington Dulles Airport. about to take off. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. What we're waiting for now is to see the, uh, there it is. There's the Korean Air Dreamliner. After landing on 13 right. And most of the time, this, this plane, you know, when we're in South Flow, which is the direction the the wind is coming from today. Most of the time it does come in here in front of us, but for whatever reasons today. Came in on a hidden runway. Runway 13 right. Uh, runway. Yeah, 13 right. So there are no impediments for it to uh, continue its trek over to Terminal D because there's no flights coming in or out to worry about on runways 18 left or right. There's that excavation there down at the end of the 18s. Uh, there was some speculation in a previous broadcast that it might be work to build a, uh, a go-around uh, taxiway down there on the south side. Which is fine, but I just don't understand why it would, why they would have to excavate so much dirt. But I am not your civil engineer expert here on Runway DFW.
There are the towers of Cedar Hill. They're glowing in the background. There's the Delta 757, which we're thinking is probably a sports charter, but I don't know if we've gotten that uh, clarified. You're watching continuous coverage of Korean Air Flight 31 taxiing here at DFW International Airport. And for one of the world's busiest airports, I gotta say, this is about as quiet as I've ever seen it. So talk amongst yourselves and enjoy this uh, respite of the constant planes coming and going. There's some, some interesting bird chirping going on in the background. Actually, two planes arriving on the east side now. So we'll show you a plane that's actually in the air. Looks like the sky is on fire. That was American 1538 coming in from Madison, Wisconsin. Now there's also a Southern Airways Express Grand Caravan. See that little plane way over there? It's coming in on runway 17 left, which is way far away from us. And of course, it's a tiny plane. Coming in from El Dorado, which I believe is in Arkansas. So what about that? Now that's excitement. ERB says any international flights coming in soon? Well, of course we brought you the the full length taxi of that uh, Korean Air plane. Our next arrival <laughs> is uh, also 
on the east side. I don't know. Maybe they've got the west side closed here. Uh, but it is American Flight 1296 from Indianapolis. So if Uncle Car Guy is watching... A little bit of long distance plane spotting for you this morning. So we've got a nice backdrop. And we do have a United plane coming in for. We're coming up for takeoff here on 18 left momentarily, so we'll watch a little bit more of this, then we'll hand it over to that one. Okay, clear for takeoff, 18 left, r and Warren, United 336. This Airbus A319 is off to San Francisco. to Jason Galea, new subscriber. Thank you, Jason. Well, so uh, let's see, what can we do for you here? We can do a little bit of uh, weather. Well, a little before seven o'clock, a little before eight o'clock. Uh, the official temperature is 80 degrees. Feels like 82, humidity 59%. The wind coming out of the south southeast at eight miles an hour. The sun has just risen and uh, we are headed today for a high temperature of what I want to say will be 100 degrees. So we'll be in the triple digits here, Fahrenheit. And uh, right now, at our location here at Founders Plaza, 83 runway DFW degrees. So here we are, waiting for more planes. <laughs> oh, fun times. Okay, so American Flight 520 is on its way to the starting gate. It is an Airbus A321neo. It's going to Phoenix, Arizona. So we will aim our Runway DFW Camera 1 lens in the direction of that flight. 
We have to hit another button. There it is. So we have time to savor every individual plane today. Got a new subscriber there, Gibreen Y. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button. You know, I don't normally talk about our statistics, but I, I saw an interesting one. It was that YouTube had uh, displayed our channel or you know content from our channel a million times last month so that helps us grow and the reason it uh, YouTube does that is because you hit those like buttons and the subscribe buttons and so thanks to all of you we're growing Perhaps I should talk about tomorrow. It's Labor Day. And I tentatively plan to do a broadcast, but from here, which will be our last of the week from Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, but I haven't figured out when yet, because I have to look at uh, the, all the factors, the weather and everything like that, so. Keep your bell clicked for a Labor Day broadcast from Runway DFW at some point during the day. Or morning or evening, not sure which. Delta Flight 1291 is going to Salt Lake City. It's an Airbus A319. A 19-year-old example of a baby bus.
91. Good morning. Well, it's just after 9 o'clock. No, sorry, just after 8 o'clock here in the Central Time Zone. And we will uh, break through all the kind of laid-back stuff with a little excitement from music to tell you that you're watching Runway DFW live and in color from Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport in Texas. My name is Walt. We are here with you from the uh, Runway DFW Founders, not Runway DFW, but the DFW Airport Founders Plaza. So uh, we'll be here with you for the next two hours leading up to the big Sunday show from Kevin and Rudy at Airline Videos Live. So hang out with us if you can on Runway DFW. And I am here to inform you that there are absolutely no flights coming in we're going out here on the west side of the FW airport, but that doesn't deter us because there's a flight coming in on the east side. So we will uh, flip over to our east side cam here. There it is. It's American Flight 696 and Airbus A321 coming in from Columbus, Ohio. Now we are expecting in this hour, I do believe we should be seeing the Japan Airlines flight from Narita Airport in Tokyo. That'll be a 777. And uh, we have a Korean Air 747 on the ground, Korean Air Cargo. And there is some expectation that we can bring that to you taking off for its next destination. But not right now. <laughs> Dogwood 67, a channel member, says good morning, Walt Mods and fellow spotters. Hope you're all having a good Sunday. Well we've had we have had more traffic here. I have to be honest with you, but uh I hope you're hope you're all just kind of hanging out with us. There is American Eagle flight uh what is that? Coming in from Birmingham. Not England, but Alabama. American Eagle 5017. So we're resorting to bringing you regional jets coming in far away to fill the time. Now, typically things do pick up in the nine o'clock hour, you know, because there's kind of a uh, a connection rush and everything goes out leading up to nine a.m. probably from eight forty-five. So. It's going to pick up. It will, I promise. What's this? A plane coming in from Baltimore. 737... 800, American Flight 1403. Yes, it's coming in on the east side.
And there he goes. Well, we're still <laughs> waiting for something to happen over here, so we're going to bring you another east side arrival. It's United Flight 1634, which has just disappeared into the vapors. It's an Airbus A319. So not a big plane at all. So a 20th century aircraft is this. Coming in from Houston, Intercontinental, George Bush. Got a lot of names that airport. Speaking of airports, uh, this month marks 50 years, 50, 5 oh, since DFW Airport was dedicated. Now, there, as I re read, uh, later in September... Good morning, DFW, visual, I can't remember the exact date, but... Um, Later this month, there was a big, uh, you know, 50 years ago, there was a big celebration here, a three-day celebration uh, to herald the opening of DFW Airport. Now, however, it was not, the airport was not, uh, didn't see its first commercial traffic until January of the next year. So January 1974 was when the plane officially started accepting commercial flights, but there was a dedication ceremony in September of 1973. So I have inquired with the airport as to, you know, if they have any plans to commemorate either that now, I'm sure they're going to commemorate the opening of the airport, uh, but I don't know if they're going to commemorate the dedication of the airport. I have yet to hear from them about that, so... Now, we're finally seeing some action here. You did see American Flight 383486 coming in from Peoria, Illinois, after an hour and 32-minute flight. Did I say American Airlines? American Eagle on an Embraer 175. But we do have now American Flight 1750 coming in from Cancun in Mexico. This will be an Airbus A321. It is on final approach now and we'll set up to bring you that as things start happening once again here at DFW Airport. Tony G wants to know what are some of the furthest traveled arrivals at DFW. Well, we talk about this fairly regularly, and uh, the the at least currently the the most distant point is a Qantas flight from Melbourne, and we normally see that to go out on Friday nights. I think it flies three or four times a week. Uh, uh, Qantas also has the second. Uh, most uh, the second most distant flight and that's to Sydney that uh, that's a daily flight both are dreamliners they arrive in the afternoon however so we won't see that here comes that flight from Cancun and I did see on the screen there just a moment ago that our channel member a few trains that has gifted some memberships so thank you a few trains at
don't know if anybody's noticed, but we're also coming to you today in a slightly higher grade format. 60 frames a second instead of 30. It should make for a little sharper uh, image for you. That's a, it's a Dreamliner, American Airlines, coming out of the hangar, headed towards its next assignment. It's American Flight 13. And I thought I heard... Maybe I was wrong. I thought I heard a, a Japanese accent on the uh, on the air traffic control as though the Japan Airlines flight was in the vicinity, but I'm not seeing it right now. The next arrival we will be having for you is still a minute or so away. It's American Flight 1038 in Airbus A320 coming in from Wichita. And behind that will be American Eagle Flight 4936 from Aguas Calientes in Mexico on a CRJ 701ER. And then behind that will be American 1034 an Airbus A320, which uh, took off from Guadalajara. So things are happening. If you've uh, fallen asleep, <laughs> slap yourself in the face and say, wake up, there's more things coming. I do see Japan Airlines Flight 12, it's still uh, about, uh, let's say, seven minutes away. Again, that's a 777 coming in from Haneda Airport in Tokyo. Channel member Stitch says, is that a train? And yes, uh, you were seeing a train there. I well, here's another train. You know, let's see. There's two trains that come directly to the airport. Did we miss it? Sorry, I'm kind of... Well, I think we did miss it. But there's two trains that come to the airport. One is uh, Texrail from Fort Worth, and the other is Dart from Dallas. Well, there goes one. There's a dark train, a yellow and white. Those are electric vehicles. The uh, Texrail is a diesel-powered train. And uh, yeah, they whisk passengers back and forth. And you will see some other trains. Those are the, the inter-terminal trains that uh, take passengers from one terminal to another if they have a connection to make. Can't get on those trains without a a ticket. You've got to be behind the behind the paywall, as they say, I guess. So at the moment we are waiting for this plane to come in from Wichita. So we've got a couple more planes to 
pop in before we see the Japan Airlines flight, the one from Aguas Calientes, the one from Guadalajara, the one, there's one from Amarillo, but good things come to those who wait. Kate Christensen has gifted five Trijet memberships. So thank you to you. Kate Christensen, and we see the memberships rolling in there. Shadowness, a channel member, says good morning to you and hello from Hamburg, Germany to Germany to everybody at DFW. And here come the new members rolling in. So Ken, again, thank you to Kate Christensen and to a few trains at who also made a gift of uh, memberships to the channel. Thank you so much. I see Michelle RS, a channel member and mod and longtime uh, friend of the channel in the chat. Citizen Towel says perhaps DFW can install proper restroom facilities at Founders Plaza for their anniversary. Well, be nice. I'm not crossing my fingers on that one. Hit the wrong button. was that? That's 1034, flight 1034 from Guadalajara. Here goes American 2603, a 737-800. Destination, Destination the Big Easy of New Orleans. If you are just joining us, we are live at uh, DFW International Airport in Texas. We'll be here with you through just about 10 o'clock Central Time. So we have about a little more than 90 minutes left in our broadcast. After which we will shuffle you off to LAX for some A number one plane spotting from Kevin and Rudy at Airline Videos Live. I see that 747 uh, Korean Air cargo lit up on the radar now, so we should be seeing that go out soon. It's going to Anchorage. American Flight 362 coming in from Amarillo, Texas, and Airbus A319 roaring in.
This looks to be American Flight 2357 going to Denver. As we've got Flight 1066 now arriving from Mexico City. And that brings us to Flight 12 from Haneda Airport in Tokyo. Japan Airlines Flight 12, a 777. We will have that in our view momentarily. going to flip over to 11 hours as it lands. As we've said before, that flight takes a little longer than it once did because uh, the Japan Airlines flights to Tokyo, the American Airlines flights to Tokyo, the Korean Air flights to Seoul, and the American Airlines flights to Seoul, they all have to uh, avoid Russian airspace. They so it, it makes their trips just a little bit longer than they would have ordinarily been. Joy Adams has uh, gifted us with a 20-pound super chat. Not really a chatter, but I enjoy planes, Walt. So thank you, Joy Adams, for the super chat, for your membership in our channel. Much appreciated. In the takeoff position at this time is American Flight 2720 and Airbus A321 that's going to Tucson, to Tucson, Arizona. And we've got coming in American Flight 2335 which originated in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Let's take a look.
Well, that gave us back uh, time to go back to the Tucson flight. Uh, we need about one minute, American 1729. Uh, we just got a call for the day. So there we had a takeoff to Tucson and a landing from Houston Intercontinental. That was flight 1799 arriving. And now for our second Korean Air aircraft of the morning. We got to see the uh, the Dreamliner taxiing after arriving from Seoul, but we'll get to see this one taking off. This is flight 256, a 747 800 series. An 11 year old bird coming out of the cargo hangar on its way to Anchorage. All hail the Queen. Thought I'd go get me a drink of water while you were watching that. There's been some talk about Founders Plaza and its uh, benefits and shortcomings, but I think A-list flyer Chris, our channel member and moderator, sums it up saying, all in all, we're very appreciative to DFW Airport to have Founders Plaza it's one of the nicest established viewing areas in the United States and possibly the world. And I was uh, talking with uh, Cloudy, who goes on, who you may be familiar with on uh, social media channels as AA Pilot Wife or AA Pilot's Wife. I can't remember what her exact handle is, but uh, she does a lot of traveling, as you might expect, and does some great social media posts. And I was asking her, well, what's, you know, what's, what's a good airport to, to view from? And she said, this is, this is one of the best. And she's been to a lot of places. So I feel very lucky that we've got this facility here. So as we do on a regular basis, thank you DFW Airport for providing us with this. And yes, there are no, no places to powder your nose here, if you know what I mean, but. Uh, you'll just have to go elsewhere to take care of business.
So this always kind of makes the uh, the lack of activity all worthwhile to see a queen of the skies in action. Likely to be the only one we'll see today on our broadcast. You'll see more, I am quite certain, on Airline Videos Live right after this broadcast with Kevin and Rudy. We will uh, switch you over to them. When this broadcast ends, you'll see a link to click on to go right, right to uh, Airline Videos Live if that's what you'd like to do. And why wouldn't you? This plane came in from Atlanta while we were setting up in the five o'clock hour. It was five o'clock or six o'clock hour? Probably the six o'clock hour this morning. So it's had a pretty brisk turnaround. And again, it's headed to Anchorage. We say good morning to MR Rice. Hello, MR. Channel member Patrick Lloyd says, needs to get to DFW one of these days, hopefully sometime next year. Well, I hope you do get a chance to. It's a big airport, there's lots to see. Although don't go by this morning as an example because we've had some some really uh, dull moments here this morning. But well, what are you going to do? Channel member Brian Henry says, I only wish DFW would have an east side plane spotting location like they did some years ago. But uh, A-list flyer Chris is so right. Very beautiful location. Here we are at it, right in the middle of it, right in the thick of it, as a plane comes in from Tampa. There you see it, right in front of us. Right there, here it is. Yeah. 
Citizen Towel, love DFW, one of the better spotting airports. Yeah, there are places to see planes at most airports. I guess Denver is pretty notorious for having, uh, for being uh, difficult to to spot from because, kind of like DFW, it's just so so spread out. Yeah, it's even more spread. Well, it's a it's a, it's 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 larger than DFW in terms of square miles, and we're a pretty big airport here. Gerard has gifted one TriJet membership. Thank you, Gerard. Gerard, of course, is our great moderator, one of our great moderators. And George Ripto will take advantage of that opportunity. So thank you again to Gerard. We've had a lot of gifted memberships this morning. We're so grateful for those. Still planes lining up. You can see an American Eagle plane there on the, just underneath the tail. Mary Jones is ready for 100K, is our newest subscriber. Thank you. a raindrop. That was American Flight 2680 coming in from Pensacola, Florida, an Airbus A319. The uh, Korean Air Cargo 747 is on the move. Does it have the authority to take off now? Let's see. Turning right onto runway 18 left. Flyer Chris says, looks like a little pop-up scud sprinkle right over the center of the field. Well, I felt a drop or two, and uh, now the sun is coming out, so go figure. Those tires rolling. Yeah. Had three planes in one shot there for a moment. Well, if you just joined us, this Korean Air Cargo Plane 747 is about ready to lift off for Anchorage, Alaska.
So a nice lingering look at that beautiful aircraft. Jose Aguilar, channel member says, good morning, Walt. We definitely need some rain here in South Texas. Well, we join you in that, and I hope you get it. Looks like some parts of the metropolitan area here have received at least a few sprinkles. It's American Airlines A319 coming in from, where is that from? Walton Beach, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Destin, Fort Walton. Not sure. Whoa. That's way overexposed. I gotta do something about that. Let's see what we can do here. Missed that arrival. That was American Flight 1567 coming in from Atlanta. You saw it go by in the sky there. I couldn't swing around fast enough to grab the shot for you. Poised to take off is American Flight 2128, going to McAllen, Texas. Yeah, I think so. But thank you, Angela. Angela was concerned because she was feeling sprinkles. I was feeling sprinkles. I've got one or two drops on my gear here. 
get my... Where's my bag? I've got a bag here with my uh, shower curtain deployment. So I will have that at the ready. Well, hang on, I think I'm going to go off mic here because uh, if I look behind me. If I look behind me, the skies are kind of dark and threatening. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy the shower curtains here. As a precaution. Well, our equipment is now all, well, not all of it, because we still have our cameras, which are exposed, but I've got bags for those. Uh, as you can see, the sun is out. definitely do have some storm clouds in the sky. Uh, they appear to be... Now, we're looking south here. There's the uh, UPS facility. And you can see the skies get progressively darker as we turn towards the west, although it's sunny right here where we are at the moment, so we'll continue our operations. Good day. I may not be able to switch cameras as, as often as I 
would normally do. This is American Eagle Flight 3571 from Montgomery, Alabama. Did I say American Airlines? American Eagle in Embraer 175. Well, so we'll see what happens here. It may be that I'll have to cover up our main cameras at some point. And of course, this is happening during the rush hour here. That is, uh, I think, American 1820. And Airbus A321, but we don't have a, a destination listed for that one. Meanwhile, coming in from Nashville, is American 2583 in our bus A321. Shall we give it a go here? Thank Angela Smith, who's our, one of our channel members and a friend of the channel, and she's here with her camera, and she came over to assist in battening down the hatches with the approaching rain. Despite the threatening weather, we do have a crowd here to watch the planes come in and out. We have uh, a new member to welcome uh, called Silver Mist. Thank you, Silver Mist. Much appreciated. Spirit Airlines Flight 3052 from Fort Lauderdale is on approach. It'll be an Airbus A320. And we will bring you that aircraft as soon as it gets. It's, it's uh, within about 20 seconds of our camera here. Even less. Thirty-two for east 
Here comes a Frontier plane across the bridge. With Marshall the ring-tailed cat on its tail, but uh, don't, don't have a destination for that. Well, we're still trying to batten down the hatches here, so... Okay. If we uh, are ignoring your... your messages, I apologize for that. just can't do it at the moment. Here is American Flight 802 from Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. It's an Airbus A321. There on the left of your screen, I believe that's American Eagle 3786 going to Grand Junction, Colorado. It's an Airbus. I'm sorry, an, an Embraer 175. And the visibility has decreased quite a bit. We were getting a, quite a clear view of downtown Dallas there on that shot earlier, and now it's almost indistinguishable the skyline of downtown Dallas. We've got American Eagle 3416 coming in from Rapid City and, er, and Ember 175. Be here in about a minute. In addition to the plane, you can kind of just see there on the left, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven other aircraft, narrow body aircraft, waiting their turn. An indication of uh, lots of tails. And unfortunately, I can't. The, the I can see the computer screen enough to know that I've got a a signal going out, but I can't read your messages because the shower curtain is not quite that crystal clear, transparent for me to do that. So. Once again, I'll ask you to speak amongst yourselves while we proceed here. I 
plane we talked about a little bit ago coming in from Rapid City. That, I believe, is American Flight 1584 on Airbus A321, which is about to take off to Las Vegas. Got a pretty uh, stiff breeze blowing from the south. The airport says it's, uh, yeah, coming from the south about nine miles an hour. South, south, east. But again, the darkest clouds are to the west of us. So we are looking towards the east, southeast there. And as we spin around, you can see that uh, it's dark over in that direction. 100 zero heading with the up point left, one zero ten thousand American, 1584. Point left, line up and wait, service 4934. Business jet coming in here. That arrived from an airport in Kansas City, but not uh, the regular MCI airport. This was from JCI. That was a Cessna 525B Citation J3. Nothing on the immediate arrival uh, list here. We've got his. Pretty much departures. The uh, CRJ 701ER, which is rolling there, it's going to Durango. And we'll see what gets the next, the next calling there. Here we are at the top. Well, it's after the top of the hour, isn't it? 9.09. Yeah, we've been caught up in this kind of rainy stuff. So we're, uh, once again, we're here with you at uh, Founders Plaza at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. My name is Walt. This is Runway DFW. Can't do all the graphics right now because everything's kind of sealed up. 
but you can kind of see we're we're covered uh, proactively. We'll have to do a little more covering if it really starts to rain. Looks like American Flight 19 ought to is okay, going to be rolling into down, your picture. It's going to flight. Oklahoma City. It's an Airbus A320. And you'll see it here momentarily on runway DFW. And once again, we will, uh, as we approach the top of the hour, we will say our goodbyes and we will send it over to our friends Kevin and Rudy at Airline Videos Live for their big Sunday. It's like a telethon almost. It, it goes on and on and on. That Kevin's got some endurance. We're just with you for three hours today. Kind of a mini show. Next out of the gate is American 928 from here, destination Albuquerque. 737 800, you'll see it uh, start to roll there momentarily. And in this hour, we should be able to bring you the arrival of the uh, Daily Emirates flight from Dubai. It is a triple seven, as I recall. And it should be in the vicinity soon. The other Mid -Eastern, Middle Eastern flight we normally see in this hour from a Doha on Qatar Airways is running a bit late today, last I checked. So let me see here. The Emirates flight uh, should be here 9.36, so a little less than a half hour from now. That is a 777 from Dubai. And the Qatar Airways flight, which should be here right about the same time, has been delayed. But it's looking like 9.53, and that's also a 777. So that will likely be our final plane of the hour and of our All broadcast right, before we cede the airwaves to our, our pals at LAX. Well, there goes a plane. Let's see if we can uh, bring it to you a little closer here. And that plane that just took off there is going to Montrose, Colorado. Ski country, as I understand it. It is 
American Flight 2114 to Santa Ana, California is what you saw there. Its tail has escaped our camera's attention, but we'll just switch over to another camera. Apologize if you're if you're trying to send me messages and such. I can't see them right now. Uh, the chat room is kind of hidden behind a shower curtain right now to protect it from the kind of uh, drippy weather we have at the moment. You hear a plane, and now you see a plane. It's a 737 800 American Flight 2204 touching down from Richmond. It looks like we're getting some overflow from the east side of the airport. So Richmond flight would normally come in on the east, but they're down a runway over there. There goes Marshall, the ring-tailed cat, on that frontier tail. The destination for that particular aircraft has not been listed on Flight Radar 24. American Flight 2046 is what you see there in the center, kind of rolling out of frame. It's going to San Jose, California. If you weren't with us earlier, you might have spotted this uh, Delta 757 in the parking area down there south of Terminal D. Um, it's a charter flight, apparently. Waiting for its next destination. And again, it's an unusual sight here. Not entirely never seen, but uh, it, it, we don't have any regularly scheduled Delta 757 or 767 planes here at this airport at this current time. Right turn line is here, up to 10,000, we're take off 111, American 313. That's the light, runway 118 left, right to the ring-tailed cat.
We have flight uh, 2649 coming in from Las Vegas. It's an Airbus A321, American Airlines. Let's take a look. What's happening in front of us here? <laughs> That's our control center wrapped in plastic. And again, we haven't seen anything more than really uh, kind of a light sprinkle here, but just trying to be proactive. American Flight 2845 to Salt Lake City is uh, an Airbus A321. It is about to blast off into the stratosphere there. Disappeared. We have an American Eagle. Flight on approach from Idaho Falls, Idaho. CRJ 701 ER. Flight 3153. See if I can't duck under the hood here <laughs> and uh, try to check out some of your messages here. I'm way backed up. The Adventures of Gibby says, I remember back in the day when Braniff and their colorful liveries dominated DFW. Yeah, those were the days. We were just talking a little earlier about the 50th anniversary of DFW Airport when uh, Braniff was one of the charter uh, members here of the airport as, it, as operations moved over from Love Field to Dallas-Fort Worth 50 years ago in January. Our moderator, Ms. Wolf 13, says 300 likes. Wow, thank you all so much. Yes, indeed. Thank you all. 
for that. Very gratifying. Heather B. Channel member says, Runway DFW, so love your stream. You the best. Hope you don't get stormed out. Take care, chatters, and great mods. And here I am with my head under the shower curtain as a plane comes in. And that's just the way it is here this morning at Founders Plaza. I'm going to get back out under the hood here. See if we can bring you some more planes. We should be uh, within a couple minutes now of the Emirates flight, the Emirates 777 coming in from Dubai. And I do see it on the radar. Be about here in about four minutes. So in the meantime, we get to see American flight 1552 going off to Colorado Springs, a 737. 800, and you see it poking its nose out there right now, and that looks to be the last of our rush here for the time being. And I see Kevin has fired up his behind the scenes. And of course, I'm talking about Kevin with Airline Videos Live. He usually turns on his behind the scenes a few minutes before he goes on the air. His uh, stream is scheduled to begin, his mainstream is scheduled to begin at 10. But we may have a little bit of overlap. Fazi Qureshi is a new subscriber. Thank you for that. But anyway, we'll try to intrude as, as little as possible on Kevin's big Sunday show. Um, what we'll do is uh, our tentative plan right now is to go till right before 10 o'clock when he's supposed to start. And because uh, we'd like to be able to bring you the both of the Middle Eastern flights coming in today, the first of which is the United or the, the Emirates flight from Dubai. It has been flying around for 15 hours and 10 minutes. It's a 777 and it's just about two minutes away. And there's nothing taking off, so we'll be able to bring you the full landing of that. Let's see if I can uncover our gear here for a second or two. Heather B. with an Australian $10 Super Chat. Great job as always, Walt. Wonderful mods and chatters. Take care all. Thank you, Heather B., who, of course, is also a member of Runway DFW. Tower Alaska 543, can get a runway heading on departure. So I'm going to switch away from this shot, look to the north. See it. We're, we're going to get kind of a partial view of the uh, 777 coming in from Dubai. Since it's going to go behind a, a shade structure, but there it is from a distance. Flight 21, 777, 15 year old aircraft. A daily flight. Tower Emirates uh, 55 Uniform Heavy, uh, Island 22. 
glimpse of it there coming right at us just doesn't want to come into focus does it An Alaska Airlines flight going out there to uh, Seattle on a Max 9. But our attention is focused at the 777, which is just now making a reappearance. It has arrived. You can hear American Flight 2978 revving up. Bound for Los Angeles and Airbus A321neo. I will be on that same aircraft type on Thursday morning. To Los Angeles. I'll be on flight 1953, 1953, on Thursday morning for my sojourn to Cranky Dorkfest. I'm tentatively planning to provide some coverage of uh, my journey to the airport. I think I'm going to take Texrail, which is a commuter train which travels from the Fort Worth area. I won't be taking it from Fort Worth, but I'll be hopping aboard and heading out to the airport on Thursday morning. I'm hoping we can do a little kind of walk and talk as we as we go along there live. for what will be my first airplane trip since 2016. That is American Airlines Flight 1415, an Airbus A321. It's going to Vancouver, Canada. And our next incoming flight is going to be American 1597 from Oklahoma City, a 737-800. So if this starts rolling here, we may have one of those situations where we can see one right, landing and one taking off simultaneously at the same time. Let's 
see if that'll work out. We've got United Flight 1457. It's going to be your Airbus A319. Which is 21 years old. Our newest subscriber is I don't know what name I should have. So an indecisive new subscriber, but a new subscriber nonetheless. The flight from Doha is now 14 minutes away, so that will be our, I believe, our last our last flight of the broadcast. Oh, and it's going to be having the sporting the 25 years of excellence sticker. So stick around for that. Get it? Bradley Sika says, why, hello there. Hello to you. Ayla Slyer, Chris, thank you for your service to Runway DFW. He's got to do a few tours. We'll see many of you all in a little bit. And I know what he means. He's also a moderator over at Airline Videos Live. So thank you for your service to this channel, Chris. And I believe we'll be seeing you later this weekend at Cranky Dorkfest. All right, so we've settled into kind of an overcast morning here at the big airport, but uh, any heavy rain has abated. Well, we haven't, we've never seen any heavy rain here this morning at this location. But as I said before, we are in desperate need of any rain here in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth and in most parts of Texas. Call the departure. Have a good day. You know, and Oklahoma. So uh, bring it on as far as the rain goes. We need it. I see 757 chip in there. Channel member who says, Doe! Not sure what he's referring to, but... We say hello to DFW Spotter. Good morning. And once again, it's become quiet here, has it not? TriStar Darren says the birds are ever chirping. And here comes a aircraft from Buffalo, an, Air, uh, an American Eagle, Embraer 175. Shh. 
shuffling in from Buffalo. Oh no, is it Buffalo or Bakersfield? I think it's Bakersfield, sorry. Shuffling in from Bakersfield in California, which is nowhere near Buffalo, New York. American Eagle Flight 3608, ending a two hour and 37 minute journey. Looks like we've got an aircraft on the flight line. This is American 2759. It's an Airbus A321. It's going to San Antonio, Texas. And if you are a new subscriber to our channel, thank you very much. And uh, if you're a new viewer, if you're just kind of watching and lurking, it's fine. We're glad to have you with us. The only way to chat, however, is to become a subscriber to the channel, and that's free. That's Lucy Romero with a $20 Super Chat. Says, can't wait to meet you on Saturday at Cranky Dorkfest. I'm going to want an autograph. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to practice my, uh, my handwriting because I do so much typing, Lucy, that my autograph is pretty atrocious. But I think I'll be, uh, I'll have some runway DFW gear on so you can identify me. And I look forward to meeting any of our viewers who get a chance to go to Cranky Dork Fast or to the, uh, the party up on top of the H Hotel on Friday night, this Friday night. I know that a lot of our viewers are also Airline Videos Live viewers, so we kind of, our Venn diagram kind of intersects there. There are the interesting cloud patterns from this morning. None shall pass. Big D says, hey, I was just there at Founders Plaza. Great spotting area. Got to see some American Airlines 787s and 777s and also the Emirates 777 arriving. So glad you could be here. Very nice place to hang out. Uh, once again, it's quiet, but we will be seeing very, very soon the Qatar flight from Doha. 757 chip channel member says uh, Qatar flight from Doha eight minutes out. Yeah, that looks to be about right. Next to arrive though is Spirit Airlines flight 269 from Las Vegas. It'll be an Airbus A320. So we have kind of a moment of reflection. as we appeal to the heavens for some much needed rain. Just open up those skies. Just do it as soon as I pack things up here. No, I would, you know, even if you if it comes before that, that's fine. Just, just rain, please, please rain. Bouncy bounce there. Tower, good morning, American 
589, visual approach, 20 right. I would say if I were the pilot of that plane, I would not be putting that on my uh, my reel of here are my best landings. Quiet once again. As we come to you from Founders Plaza, we're here in the final minutes of our broadcast. Uh, I know that uh, Kevin's fired up his behind the scenes and he'll be coming at you with uh, 10 hours or whatever he's doing today. <laughs> 10 or 12 hours or 11 hours. He does a lot of hours of broadcasting. Trying to find this plane, there it is. Coming from Wichita, American Eagle, Ember 175. have seen in the picture uh, some emergency vehicles headed over around the curve up here on the north side. They had their lights on, but not their sirens. Doha flight. Three minutes away, it says. And again, this has the 25th, 25 years of excellence sticker on it, so be sure to look out for that. In the meantime, American Flight 589 will greet us first, having taken off from Santa Barbara, California, about two hours and 38 minutes ago. Super chat coming in now from Allison N, a channel member, says thank you for a great Sunday morning stream, Walt. Thank you, Allison. Very much appreciated. Here's the flight from Santa Barbara, which is the penultimate flight before the big triple seven from Doha. And as soon as that lands, we'll, we'll get out of the way pretty quickly. We'll do our our regular thank yous, and then we'll bow out and send things over to Kevin at LAX. Okay. We'll get a, just a glimpse, I think. Well, maybe. Uh, focus is not being our friend today. But there it is. You can kind of see it. it's about to go beyond, be, be behind that that pole. That's the Qatar Flight 731 coming in from Doha. So there you have a perfectly focused shot of a shade structure with a blurry shot of a 777 behind it. And I could switch over to manual focus, but I'm going to need the autofocus in just a second, so... But 
everybody's here to see this aircraft coming on in. Birds are chirping. People are lining up to get their shots. Watch out for that 25 years of excellence sticker. I don't know where it is. By Jove, I think we've done it. We have braved the elements to bring you another scintillating broadcast from DFW International Airport. Before we go, we need to tell you about the sponsor of this broadcast and that is James Webb thank you James Webb for your sponsorship for your equipment help and uh, for just everything and for your travel agency yes also to airline videos live we'll be switching you over to them shortly Kevin supplied us with battery power for this broadcast and all of our broadcasts thank you Kevin and of course to the runway DFW moderation Federation we saw them here today. We have a new member, TriStar Darren. Thank you, TriStar Darren. And to all of you guys and gals for being with us. And now comes the time of the broadcast when we say thank you to all of our members who supply us with the funding to get this show on the road and to bring it to you every several times a week on Runway DFW. Where is that? There it is. And, uh, oh, there we go. That about does it for us. Thank you all so much for tuning in to us this morning, and we'll be uh, shooting it over now to Kevin at Airline Videos Live. Kevin and Rudy with their, their Sunday spectacular broadcast. Thank you so much for all of you who have tuned in today. And we'll be back at you, I think, tomorrow. will be our last show from DFW for the week, and then we'll be out to LAX, and we'll tell you more about that 
as we go along. Until then, happy contrails to you until we meet again. Bye, everybody. Promotional consideration furnished by Pan American World Airways, the world's most experienced airline. Pan Am makes the going great. This is Dick Tufel speaking. Get going, love you, bye for now. Oh, wait, what about the American 16?